YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from our Upcycled Life. I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content, and I love new crafting friends. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notification so you don't miss any great DIY content. Today's video is a little bit different. If you've been following along, at the beginning of the year, I was not letting myself go to another thrift store until I cleaned up all of the projects that I had bought over the summer and the fall and upcycled those. I've done really well actually, and I'm getting to the bottom of the barrel, but I have some things that I'm just stumped on. I picked them up just maybe because they were a good deal. I thought they were pretty, I thought there was potential, but now I'm cleaning everything up and I'm looking at them. I don't know what to do with them. I have over 50,000 crafting friends here on my YouTube channel, and I knew if we all brought our heads together, we could figure out how to upcycle these things. So I'm gonna show you what I got, and I would love if you are inspired by something or you see something that you like and you have an idea of what I can do with it, let me know down in the comments and I'll create it. I'll make a video next week of everything that I upcycled with your ideas, and um, let's get right at it. Let me show you what I've got. First thing, this is gorgeous. It's heavy metal. I don't know what kind of metal it is. It's been spray painted red. Um, I can just put candles in it and it would probably be beautiful, but what color should I paint it? Should I do it for a season? Solar lights in the summer on the patio? I'm not quite sure. I have a lot of ideas for this, but I don't know what would work best. If you've ever upcycled something like this and it's turned out fantastic, or you have a good idea, let me know. And what about this? I love the birds. Parakeets? Not quite sure. I would hate to paint over it because I kind of like the bird um, print on it. I picked it up for $2.99. It was 75% off. What the heck do I do with it? Do It's got a few scratches on it. Maybe just paint the outside of it. Leave this or do I just paint the whole darn thing and start from scratch and put a nice quote on it? I'd hate to cover this up. Any ideas? Let me know down below. Okay, here's something else that I am stumped with. These are candle holders. They're very 60s, black with a little bit of a gold accent. There's been some paint kind of, probably from me actually, because I've had them in my shed forever. Um, splashed on it. There are some markings on it, um, but I can't read it very well. I'd have to get up closer. Um, but I don't know, what should I do with these? Maybe mount them on a piece of barn board? Should I spray paint them a flat black color or a funky color? Um, or these unscrew and I can take the candle holders off of them and turn them into something completely different? These ones really have me stumped. I don't know what to do with them, but they look really funky and fun. So I wanna come up with a great idea. Anything that you can think of? Um, I picked up this clock. I'm not sure what to do with it. It works. I tested it with the battery um, and it's a good solid piece, but I'm not liking the honey colored wood on it with the gold accent. I could paint this with some of my rustic painting techniques but I don't think it would look good with the gold. Should I maybe just spray paint it like a matte black to contrast with the gold? I don't know, I'm also stumped on this one. Any ideas, let me know. Or maybe just take the clock right out of it and then use this as a frame for a picture. That's an idea too. Hmm, what do you think? I picked up this box actually a long time ago. I've had this in my shed for forever. It opens right up. It's quite deep. I don't know what it was used for. It's got a piece of foam on the top of it. I initially picked this up because when I find these, I like to make them into memory boxes and you can put stuff from a lost loved one inside and put a nice quote on the top, but I just never got around to doing it and I thought, well, maybe there's a different idea that I could do. I don't like the color, it's very shiny, very kind of 80s, and I could do a rustic painting technique on this and it would look lovely, but should I put graphics on it? Should I not put graphics on it? I'm really kind of stumped. Um, let me know down in the comments. Actually, I could take this off too and put a nice 
I don't think I even need a handle. I'm not quite sure why the handle was on there. Anyway, what do you think? Plain wooden wall shelf. I think it goes like this or like this. Not sure. I can just paint it a plain color, white or black, but that's boring. I always like to do something kind of funky and fun. But um, what I was also thinking I could do was just take this apart and it's gonna give me this end and this end to do some really neat signs on that's kind of got the cut edges on it. Uh, and then it'll leave me the middle part as maybe I could put this in a kitchen to hang like um, tea towels on. I'm not sure, um, but I'm kind of leaning on taking this one apart and not leaving it as a shelf. What do you think? I left this one to the last because it is gorgeous. This came off of a broken lamp. This is the bottom portion of the lamp and then it came up here with a shade on the top and it is gorgeous. I have had this forever sitting on a shelf and I actually just like it even just like this, but I always think, I'm always thinking I need to do something with this. I need to upcycle it and I haven't got any ideas. So I've just kind of been looking at it and looking at it and I knew one of you guys out there probably has a fantastic idea of how I can upcycle this and make it even more beautiful than it already is. Um, I'm not painting it. I'm not going to do anything to affect the, um, I'm not even sure what this is on here, but I don't want to change that. I just want to maybe add it or make it into something new and leave it as is. So put your heads together. Let me know down in the comments. Okay, I know you guys can help me and I know you can all give me some really fantastic, fabulous ideas on how to upcycle these items. So leave me a comment down below. I read all of my comments and I try to respond to all of them also. So let's get together down in the comments, brainstorm, get these projects done so I can go flipping thrifting because I think after I finish these, my time is up. My projects are done and I can get to the thrift store. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.